This seminar on the 1920s is Sacco and Vincetti, which is one of the major court cases of the 1920s. First, you have to have a crime. The crime was there was the paymaster and a security guard. The paymaster handles the money. And they were working at this shoe factory. And they were probably there to pay the employees. And they were shot and killed by a 32 caliber um, bullet. From obviously a handgun. Um, so that happened in Braintree, Massachusetts. Witnesses said Italian looking men fled the scene in a Buick automobile. Uh, the main suspect, because they found the Buick later in uh, abandoned in a forest in some woods, and they said the, the official said the evidence pointed towards this man, Mike Boda, but Mike Boda was a step ahead of the police already because he had gone back to Italy, so he wasn't there. So, uh, looking for new suspects, uh, there was two colleagues of Boda, Nicola Sacco and Bartholomew Vensetti. Okay, um, Sacco had a 38 caliber handgun, and in that gun were the same model of bullets uh, as were used to kill the security guard and paymaster. Vansetti had been a participant in an attempted robbery of a shoe factory earlier on. So they both, you know, had a little bit of evidence again and stuff. This is what they look like. Nicola Sacco, Bartholomew Vensetti. Here's the big thing. They were both anarchists. They were both very much against organized government. They didn't like government. They, they wanted the destruction of the government, actually. Um, in America at that time, we were very much anti-communist because it's after World War I. And we're starting to get a big anti-immigrant feeling. Some people in America felt that Sackman and Vincetti were deemed guilty before they even set their, their foot in court because of their political beliefs and because of the fact that they were immigrants. There were protests all over. They actually raised a lot of money for their defense. Um, there was bombings in New York City and Philadelphia. There's also a bombing in Spain um, in the name of the anti-immigration and... Uh, what they thought was prejudice in the United States. You can see protesting. So, Trafalgar Square is in uh, London, by the way. So the trial, the defense calls almost 100 witnesses. Some of them saying that they couldn't have done it, they weren't there at the time. Um, the prosecution used very brand new and primitive technology to say that the bullet... The bullets found in Sacco's gun, and Sacco's gun, um, that his gun is the one that was used to kill the paymaster and the security guard using their primitive uh, early methods. And in July of 1921, they were both found guilty and they're both sentenced to death, the whole time maintaining their innocence. So here you can see the industrial worker. You know, this is a communist leaning newspaper, Sacco Vicente to die. So. Um, now they're on death row. It's not like they're instantly put to death. They're on death row for years. And in 1927, there's a new inquiry, um, a new investigation, because they have new technology so they can better uh, analyze the gun and the bullets. And they do that, and they find out that that inquiry says, yes, this gun was used to kill them, or to kill those two victims. They were then executed in August of 1927, in 1977, 50 years after their um, uh, sentence was carried out, Governor of Massachusetts, Michael Dukakis, proclaimed that he did not feel that Sacramento City received a fair trial, that it was biased and they didn't get all the rights due to them as Americans. And then in 1983, there was another investigation of the evidence, and that investigation said Sacco's gun was definitely the one used to kill those two men. Some people then argue if Sacco was definitely guilty, was Vincetti guilty, or was he just guilty for being associated with Vincetti or with Sacco? We don't know, but that is Vincetti and that is Sacco. So 
history and technology have shown us that the gun he used, it looks like most likely was the one to kill those two men. Vansetti, we don't know. Maybe it was prejudice, maybe wrong place, wrong time, wrong political beliefs, the fact that he was an Italian immigrant. So, one of the major trials of the 1920s, the Sacco and Vincetti case.